Merci Jean-François euh, pour euh, tes, ton introduction, ta vision et d'être ici ce soir euh, pour célébrer euh, tous ensemble cette belle réussite. Uh, thank you very much, Minister, for your uh, kind words, your thoughtful vision uh, on AI, which is one, uh, unsurprisingly, uh, shared by Canada. Um, there have been uh, many wonderful things that we've been discussing over these past three days uh, of this uh, busy visit to Singapore. Uh, but two themes for me really uh, came forward. Uh, one is the theme of trade. The uh, second is the theme of transformation. Uh, on trade, there are, two few, there are um, probably not two countries in the world who share as much of a similar positive vision on trade as Singapore and Canada. Uh, there's no question they came from different perspectives. Uh, Canada. Uh, needs trade because we haven't always had an overabundance of natural resources. Uh, Singapore needs trade because it's always had an underabundance of natural resources. Uh, but the geographic position of Singapore has always made it a natural hub uh, for connecting uh, people in regions around the world and understanding deeply the benefits that come uh, from trading more, from trading freer, from uh, connecting broadly diverse people and products, uh, bringing them together in a way that creates wealth and support uh, for everyone. Canada, with an overabundance of natural resources, has always relied on trade because we've never had uh, the domestic market large enough to be able to benefit fully from our natural resources. So whether it's been fish and furs uh, back in history, or now uh, minerals and timber and energy resources, uh, trade uh, is something that we don't have to work overly hard to convince uh, people in Canada of the value of. But at the same time, we are at a time when there is anxiety about trade around the world. We're seeing protectionist tendencies. And that's why it's so important for countries like Canada and Singapore uh, to step up and lead the way in demonstrating two things. First of all, that trade is a key component in creating growth for our communities, for our citizens, for our countries, for our world. But the trade can also be of benefit not just to big multinational country, companies uh, or a country's bottom line, but also good for innovators, startup, start up small businesses, and indeed, workers, families, and consumers. And that's the challenge that we've been facing over these past few years. And that's where uh, countries like Canada and Singapore have stepped up to sign progressive trade deals like the recently ratified CPTPP, which is uh, uh, an extraordinary opportunity to bind together some of the fastest growing economies of the world uh, in a large pan-Pacific uh, alliance that is showcasing what uh, trade can actually do to bring people together. Canada's particularly pleased because uh, despite the concerns and the rising protectionism we see in some parts of the world, we've managed to move forward not just with the CPTPP, not just with uh, reasserting free trade with our closest neighbor and most important trading partner, the United States, but also moving forward with a historic trade deal with the European Union, which actually puts Canada in the unique and enviable position of being the only G7 country with a free trade deal with every other G7 country and privileged access to almost two-thirds of the global economy. Uh, this is something we can all be very proud of and continue to make a case for trade as being extremely important. But if trade has been one of the sources of the anxiety uh, that citizens are feeling around their future, their jobs, their kids' jobs, the transformation of that economy through technology, through innovation, uh, is also a source of anxiety for people. And just as we have with trade, we've had to uh, focus on allaying those fears and anxiety. And one of the things that has become almost a representative of uh, the challenges to disrupted, wor disruptive, disrupted workforces uh, is uh, the advances in AI. And one might imagine that seeing these transformations, these potential threats to uh, jobs and careers that have been well established, 
a country's leadership might be tempted to say, you know what, we're going to protect what we have as long as possible. We're going to defend the status quo and build barriers against this transformation that is so worrisome to so many people around the world. We're going to protect you from the future. Well, that is a choice that some places around the world may be taking, but I can tell you, and it'll be a reassurance for all of you here tonight to celebrate the opening of an AI office in Singapore, that that is not the position that Canada is taking, not the position that Singapore is taking, and indeed, not the position that anyone should be taking. As we see the transformation of the global economy, the transformation of the nature of work, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, changes in the way we do things and the way we operate as, as workplaces but also as communities, we should instead challenge ourselves and our communities to be part of that transformation, indeed to lead that transformation. And that's exactly what Canada is doing on AI. Over the past decades, uh, we continued to invest in AI research even as other countries in the world went in different directions. And through uh, visionary leadership of a number of Canadians who kept plugging away at deep learning, Canada has emerged from the AI winter as a global leader in AI, demonstrating an understanding and a level of solutions uh, that the world is rapidly uh, trying to get their hands on. Uh, fortunately, uh, Canada uh, has some uh, extraordinary supports for AI. We've uh, invested in an AI supercluster. We are drawing together extraordinary researchers from around the world uh, in innovating and creating AI. But it's not simply enough to recognize and support researchers. We know that for AI to succeed, like most scientific innovations, it takes multiple partnerships. Researchers, government, and entrepreneurs. Visionary business leaders who can look for the commercialization, look for the real tangible impacts in the ways AI is going to transform uh, our supply chains, our uh, operations and our logistics, and improve not just the outcomes of our work, but the very ways we work. And Canada knows that different approaches, and indeed resilience and diversity, come from having a broad range of perspectives. Creative solutions come when you bring people together from every corner of the world, from different backgrounds, from different stories, different experiences, and you toss them together to solve a really big intractable problem. Indeed, that's one of the things that has defined Canada's success over the past decades, over the past generations. So we have stepped up in pulling people together and building partnerships around the world. That's why we're so excited to be here today in Singapore uh, to celebrate the opening of Element AI's Singapore headquarters, uh, which will be more than just uh, a sales office, very much uh, folding in research and connections and drawing on the incredible business and trade know-how right here in Singapore to shape the impacts we can have in businesses here in the region and indeed around the world. This is this is the new perspective we're bringing on Canada, where trade is not just about uh, selling primary resources, but it's about recognizing that our greatest resource in Canada and anywhere around the world is our human resources, our people themselves, and our capacity to invest uh, in education, in training, in research, in science, and bring out the very best in people is what we are going to continue to do. So uh, right now in celebrating this moment where we have a Canadian company that isn't celebrating that it got bought out by a big multinational, isn't celebrating that it's uh, moving its headquarters to a larger, uh, more important country, but instead building a partnership in uh, an important country around the world, reaching out and sharing Canadian knowledge, Canadian know-how, and drawing on the expertise around the world uh, and I can't think of a better place to start than right here in Singapore. Uh, it's an incredible pleasure to be here tonight with you, Jean-Francois, and the entire uh, a a Element AI team to highlight uh, the great things that Canada is doing, the great things that Singapore has been doing, and mostly the great things that happen when we all collaborate together. Merci beaucoup, mes amis, d'être ici ce soir. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's a great celebration to be part of. Merci.